Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have a mystery package from Sparrows. Sparrows did a limited run to where they sold this new uh, product at a cheap price, but as a mystery package. So here we are, and uh, we're going to unbox it. In fact, we can start with this part too. So it comes in two parts. Looks like we got ourselves a motor cylinder. Some pins. See those like driver pins here, and or driver pins here, key pins here, springs. So I guess this is a um, a practice lock of sorts. That way you can pin this up and practice it. And then let's go into this our big mystery part. Packed in here nicely. This is actually pretty nice foam. Go. And Alan Rich. Here we go. It's like a ball of sorts. Cool. I like this little pouch. Definitely going to use this. This is cool. Okay. Is there a certain way? Okay. It lined up here. Ah, interesting. Okay. Oh, there we go. So it looks like a uh, a mortar cylinder holder. So we have our. It actually has the. The notch is down in here. Let's get a flashlight. So you see the grooves on the side of it there. It's like the grooves on the side of a mortar cylinder here. So this fits right in there perfectly. Like that. So you can't turn it or anything while it's in there. And to secure it so it doesn't come out. have our little grub screws here. Now I'm actually kind of excited about this. I wonder, I hope all the other motor cylinders I have fit in this. It's definitely pretty cool. It is, however, it's really heavy. It is really heavy. And actually, we'll weigh it here shortly. go all the way in there we go nice yeah check that out you know what we'll try picking this real quick heck we have our key in front of us who cares so we'll do that let's grab our picks let's go ahead and give it a practice run just to see how this feels in the hand while picking Let's give this a practice run. So I'm going to hold it in my hand the whole time. It actually kind of fits nicely with this tension tool, but that's kind of bent oddly. So let's go ahead and switch over to a pry bar style. It's more definitely even. Okay. Yeah, that feels good. One. 
32 here. I think it fits in the hand nicely. It is heavy. This is a solid piece of metal here. Like I've ever set something. go there's our open so yeah if it feels actually it fits perfectly in my hand the way my hand grips it so maybe that's why they made it like a ball because the ball just feels natural the way it curves with your fingers and everything whatever however it is heavy so let's get the scale real quick So we have our scale here. Let's do it with the mortise in first. 563 grams. That is pretty heavy. So yeah, there we go. That's our ounces, about 20 ounces. And let's do it without the mortar cylinder. So I actually want to take this out anyway. I want to test what other, see what other cylinders fit in it. Because actually I have quite a few here nearby. There we go. Without it. 427. There we go. All right, so yeah, that's uh, pretty heavy there. So 427, that's, it's almost a pound. Yeah, 15 ounces. That's a pretty heavy little guy. It, it feels great in the hand, though. <clears throat> anyway, let's let's see what other cylinders fit in here. Gonna close this back up, move it out of the way. Make some room here. Let's see, I have an Asa Max. Fits. Another uh, seven pin as a hospitality fits. So you can see that the seven pin versions here stick out a little bit, but it wouldn't be a, it's, it's still won't be a problem. So you can see that the core still can't turn around because of screws and you screw this in, it'll tighten it up. So the only difference would be is your, your tension tool would just be a little bit further out here. Let's see, we got, looks like most everything's going to fit here. I'm actually not too sure about sizes of all motor cylinders myself, or their diameters. I don't pay attention to that, honestly. Here's a Medico. Yeah, perfect. So see that a lot of cylinders fit in here and um, that's nice I, I like that a lot um, the downside is yes it is heavy <laughs> this thing is heavy but man look at that that is a solid piece of metal there <laughs> I had to drop it just once but yeah um, that is the sparrows Looks like on the box they just call it a sphere, so maybe we'll get the actual product name here soon if it's something uh, other than that. Um, otherwise, uh, <clears throat> I'm actually I'm happy with this because this fits my hands so well. And the other thing I have for I've been really using a lot of is this four motor cylinder, which is a 3D printed one, and you stick your cylinder in there like that, screw it in. 
in that. So that's a good way to do it. And then also, you know, for SFICs and uh, LFICs, stuff like that, I have the, all these little different mixes and stuff too. Um, like this for Euro cylinders. Uh, I highly recommend uh, investing in stuff to hold the locks with. It's definitely worth it if you if you're going to be picking for a while and plan on doing it for years to come. Um, save your hands <laughs> and get something nice. Uh, I'm not sure if this will help because it is heavy. So I could see this getting tiring, but um, you know what? I'm going to field test it. I'm going to take it on a hike. Um, I'm training for Mount St. Helens right now. So this extra weight will be welcomed and <laughs> probably not so welcomed as I'm dealing with it, but we'll see. All right, everyone. This is the uh, Sparrows Mystery Box. Thanks for watching.